Imagine a scenario where a technical glitch in one country's spacecraft becomes the catalyst for a groundbreaking advancement in another's missile technology. This is precisely what has transpired between NASA's Boeing Starliner and Chinese aerospace researchers. The Starliner, intended to ferry astronauts to and from the International Space Station, encountered persistent helium leaks leading to significant mission challenges. In an unexpected turn, Chinese scientists have transformed this setback into a revolutionary propulsion technique that could revolutionize both missile stealth and rocket efficiency. Let's dive in. NASA's Boeing Starliner was supposed to be a symbol of American spaceflight independence, but instead, it became a cautionary tale of engineering failure. In June 2024, the spacecraft launched on what should have been a short trip to the International Space Station. Instead, it ended up stranded, unable to bring its astronauts home. The reason? A persistent helium leak in its propulsion system, a problem that has plagued the Starliner program for years. Helium is a crucial component in space travel, used to pressurize fuel systems and ensure a controlled flow of propellant. However, in Starliner's case, it became a liability. A leak in the system caused a significant loss of helium at a rate of 395 PSI per minute, far beyond acceptable limits. This led to thruster malfunctions, making it impossible for the spacecraft to maneuver as needed. The situation forced NASA to delay the astronauts' return indefinitely, relying on SpaceX's Crew Dragon as a backup return option. The implications of this failure extended beyond just one mission. It raised serious concerns about Boeing's reliability in human spaceflight and called into question NASA's dependence on the company for crewed missions. It also highlighted the complexity of working with helium in propulsion systems, a fact that would not go unnoticed elsewhere in the world. While NASA engineers scrambled to fix the problem, a team of Chinese aerospace researchers at Harbin Engineering University saw potential. What if helium, rather than being an uncontrollable hazard, could be used as an advantage in propulsion systems? Instead of merely pressurizing fuel tanks, what if it could actively enhance rocket performance? These questions led to an experiment that would change the game in rocket propulsion. By flipping the problem on its head, the Chinese team devised a way to inject helium directly into solid fuel rockets through microscale pores. This small adjustment had massive consequences. Not only did it boost efficiency, but it also introduced an unprecedented ability to control thrust levels and reduce a rocket's infrared signature, making it nearly invisible to modern detection systems. While NASA was struggling with the Starliner's helium problem, Chinese scientists at Harbin Engineering University were conducting a bold experiment. Led by aerospace researcher Yang Zenan, the team investigated whether controlled helium injection could transform rocket propulsion. The results were staggering. By introducing helium into the combustion chamber of solid fuel rockets through precisely engineered 2mm pores, the researchers found that they could achieve a 300% increase in thrust on demand. This meant that missiles using this technology could rapidly accelerate mid-slight, making them highly unpredictable and far more difficult to intercept. Beyond just boosting thrust, helium also provided a revolutionary stealth advantage. Infrared-guided missile defense systems rely on detecting the heat signature of a rocket's exhaust. Traditional solid-fuel missiles generate extreme heat, making them easy targets. However, by adding helium in a controlled 1 to 4 ratio with combustion gases, the researchers reduced exhaust temperatures by 1,327 degrees centigrade, an astonishing drop that makes the rocket's plume nearly invisible to infrared sensors. This cooling effect is critical in modern warfare. Missile defense systems such as the US SM-3 Block A interceptor or the Starshield satellite network rely on detecting these hot exhaust plumes to identify and neutralize threats. With helium-cooled exhaust, these new missiles could bypass traditional detection methods, effectively rendering existing infrared tracking systems obsolete. Another major advantage was stability. Helium, being an inert gas, does not react chemically within the combustion process, preventing unpredictable fluctuations in thrust that could destabilize a missile in flight. Unlike hydrogen, which is volatile and difficult to handle, helium provides enhanced safety while delivering groundbreaking performance benefits. 
Though the breakthrough was validated through computer simulations rather than live testing, the implications were clear. If applied in real-world missile systems, this technology could provide China with an edge in hypersonic missile development, making their weapons not only faster and more maneuverable, but also significantly harder to track and intercept. This breakthrough in helium propulsion is not just about missiles. It has far-reaching consequences for global security, space exploration, and technological competition. Military implications. The most immediate and pressing concern is how this advancement affects military strategy. A missile that can triple its thrust mid-slight means that defensive systems would have to be entirely reworked. Traditional missile defense relies on tracking a missile's predictable flight path. But if a missile can suddenly accelerate or change speed unpredictably, interception becomes nearly impossible. More concerning is the stealth advantage. By reducing exhaust temperatures, these missiles could evade detection from even the most advanced infrared sensors, such as those used in U.S. military satellites. This could render current missile defense systems obsolete, forcing the U.S. and its allies to invest in entirely new detection methods. Hypersonic missile technology is already considered a game-changer in warfare, and adding helium-enhanced propulsion to the mix makes the prospect even more dangerous. If deployed, these missiles could be used in high-speed, first-strike scenarios where defensive responses would be ineffective. This discovery may accelerate military competition, with nations scrambling to develop countermeasures before this technology becomes widely adopted. Space Exploration Beyond military applications, helium-enhanced propulsion could revolutionize satellite launches and space missions. The ability to increase thrust without adding extra fuel means that rockets could reach higher speeds more efficiently, reducing launch costs and improving payload delivery precision. For missions beyond Earth's orbit, helium-injected engines could allow spacecraft to adjust their speed dynamically, making them more adaptable for deep space missions. This could be particularly useful for Mars missions or asteroid mining operations where precise maneuverability is required. The technological race. The fact that China made this breakthrough so quickly raises important geopolitical questions. The U.S. has long been the dominant player in space technology, but China's rapid advancements suggest that the balance is shifting. This helium propulsion breakthrough could be just the beginning of a new wave of technological competition, where nations race to develop next-generation propulsion systems. The transformation of NASA's helium leak dilemma into a propulsion breakthrough by Chinese researchers underscores the interconnectedness of scientific endeavors. It serves as a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress, turning setbacks into stepping stones. As we advance further into the realms of space exploration and defense technologies, such innovations remind us that challenges often harbor the seeds of groundbreaking solutions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.